Hello everybody, my name is Emmanuel Datsun and welcome to another Let's Play review of a game I picked called Evo Search for Eden. Um, it's a 16-bit SNES title uh, developed by Almanac Studios or Almanac Corporation and was published by Enix which was a subsidiary for Square at the time and they merged to form Square Enix which everybody knows is the creator of Final Fantasy and any other RPG games out there that, was, that is well known around the world so let's get started um, the developer was a guy named Takashi Yoneda who was also the director of this game in the creation of this game and I don't really know much about him, but he, he developed this game. Excuse me, that was my phone. Um, I'm just going to progress this because the beginning is really long. But to sum it up, you're you're as the player, you're supposed to play these levels where <coughs> supposed to represent time periods. So for this one. This is the 500 to 450 million BC time period. And the objective of each level, or each chapter I should say, um, is to evolve the creature you're controlling. So in this case, so we're going to go, we're going to hop onto the gameplay. Um, Ocean of Origin. So you're a fish in this one. And okay, this is a jellyfish. So here's what he's saying. There are three. There are the three. One, fight for survival and for food. Two, only move forward, never back. And the last is evolve and become stronger. So that's that's the whole gist of this game is evolving your your, your character. So I'm playing as a fish in this time period, and the A button is to to eat stationary and the B button is to do like a dash like a dash bite you know like a running bite move and when I eat when I kill jellyfish <coughs> excuse me they, they drop like mutton for some reason they drop the meat and you're supposed to eat that meat and on the top right you see evil key that's evil points the evolution points you get for each time you eat. The plus three in red is your is like health, like health packs essentially. So those like help I'm eating off the ground, the plant life. It's just to refill my health. Um, as you can see, I'm just moving forward, and I progress to the next level with 50 Evo points. Um, I haven't played far enough, but um. Essentially, you just keep doing that the entire time, and the reception of this game was mediocre to, to bad because of how monotonous it is each level. You're just all you do is side scroll to the, you know each level and just eat things. You, know, you, 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 you just encounter for for this part at least. You, you just encounter sea life and you just. You just do the same thing over and over. You you, you, you kill them, you, and you eat their meat, and you get evolution points. I don't know if you spend them, or if you can spend them. Um, but yeah, that's the whole gist of this game. Now, this is re this is like the precursor to um, the modern game Spore, if you played that, where you, you create creatures and you raise them up. Basically, any game that's involving evolution this is the precursor to that. Um, black and white, black and white two, you know, any of those games. <clears throat> um, any uh, farm raising games, like uh, the one I can think of at the moment is Monster Rancher, where you you train like beasts and you fight them in an arena, basically. 
but it, there's an RPG evolution aspect to it. It's a, it's really interesting. But what I, what I don't what I like about this game is the RPG elements, and that's about it. What I don't like this game is the story. Um, I didn't really I didn't really get engaged with the story that much. And like every other review says, this game is really monotonous. You just you just you go around, you kill things, and you eat them. That's the whole that's the basics of this game. And I'm gonna eat this last meat. All right. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this review of Evo Search for Eden. Let me know what you guys think of this game. Um, if you ever play it, I mean, let me know. Alright, this is Emmanuel Datsuin, and I hope you enjoyed this.